Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you guys for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll let you know when I drop another video. And today, what I'm actually going to do is show you how to open up Cakewalk CWP files in Reaper. Yes, you heard me correctly. Open CWP files in Reaper. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my light theme. If you're interested in this theme or my dark theme, I have a link below in the description. You can download it for free. I did this song or remix for Caution, Mr. 700. Shout out to Job Born, Cold Galaxy 9 crew. I'm just going to play it real quickly so you kind of hear what it sounds like. This is a remix I did. I hope this lasts forever. I Galaxy cloud of dust in my nebulous All I see is the future which means nobody's ahead of us No fear manga does us no justice to have you scared of us Rather you in the tennis to witness us through this exodus Testing immortality, I'm trying to live forever This plan was by design so there's no time that I won't sever There's a deeper meaning of what you're seeing Not for the faint of heart To think it's only the start That lies the dangerous part All I ever wanted was Alright, so basically there was a remix contest. I did this. I just wanted to pull this one up. It's a little easier than pulling up a whole beat session. Um, so as you see in here, I have some MIDI. I have uh, a whole bunch of different uh, effects and cuts. I have a whole bunch of muted tracks. Um, I have a whole bunch of different EQs on here. And I have uh, some effects that you can see on here as well. All right. So when you actually transfer over the CWP file, you will actually get all these things over into your Reaper session. The only thing that doesn't transfer over is anything in your pro channel. Like if you have it, like this compressor on and like this console on, it will not transfer over into Reaper. And if you have an effects chain, the chain will not go over. You have to actually split the chain up in order to actually bring it into a Reaper project. So I'm gonna do one with this chain on here and I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna do one without the chain. So I can show you that as well. So let's just bounce this out. So I'm going to go to save as, and let's change this to uh, with, all right, so we're going to call this one with chain. I'm going to actually save it to my desktop. I'll make it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to go to desktop and save this on the desktop. All right, and that one is saved. All right, and also a tip, if you actually did do a chain, you can always um, disassemble it. So you right click on the chain itself and go to extract chain plugins. So that'll actually set the chains out so that you don't have to worry about them being in there. All right, so let's uh, save this one as well. I'm gonna do a save as, and this time I'm gonna do no chain. All right, so now we have those two versions inside of our file. So let's figure out what files we need to get it to pull up inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so the file we need is from aslo.com. Shout out to Aslo. Thank you for actually providing this uh, file for us to actually be able to move the Cakewalk files into Reaper. But this is the site. If you go to the link below in the description, it will take you directly to this page where I am right now. So we're on the page, you're gonna scroll down right here. It has the recwp.0.0 R3. And basically you just download that, click on it and it'll download. Then we wanna open up that zip. All right, and the zip file opens, this is what it'll look like. It'll have the Linux, a Windows 32 and the Windows 64 bit inside here and also his uh, license text as well. So I'm going to do 64 win because that's the one I have. I'm going to right click on here. And I'm going to copy. All right. So I can minimize all of this. So now, now that you actually have Reaper open, uh, the easiest way that I find to get to the files is to actually just go into your options. 
And once you're in options, you're going to go down to where it says show Reaper resource path in the Explorer Finder, right? And this will take you to where all your Reaper stuff is. If you know how to get here without going into Reaper, that's cool. But this is a, a good way if you're like a beginner to kind of get this file in here. Scroll down. You're going to go to user plugins. Double click on here. Right click inside of the, the file and just hit paste. And then you'll have this Reaper underscore CWP DLL file inside of your applications. And guess what? You're done. That's it. You're set up. All right. So I'm going to close out this. So now what we want to do is just bring up that uh, those files that we made for Cakewalk. All right. So we have both of the files here that we put onto our desktop. This is one with no chain. This one is with chain. So I'm going to do the one with the chain so you can see that it'll pull up uh, on the master. So I'm going to drag this into Reaper. And it's going to give this little pop-up window. And it's going to tell me that two things weren't converted over. This is definitely from the, the chain that I made. And also a pro channel, I believe I use like a compressor inside there or something. So let's hit OK. All right. So now all the files are actually in here. And uh, as you see, this is the master here. And as you see, there's nothing on the master. See, it says master, there's nothing on there. Um, I have my drum bus. All my drums are in here, so I can minimize all my drums if I wanted to. I could color code all of them if I wanted to. Um, my vocals are here, so I have uh, the vocals as a chain. I have my bass and my sounds. And these are all the muted tracks that I didn't use, as you saw in the other one. This is my um, EQ that I use on the tracks. So it brings it into Reaper's EQ. So you'll be able to see uh, the EQs in here as well. So anything I did on the Cakewalk Pro Channel EQ will actually show up in here, but like the compressors won't. All right, any kind of effects that I use, I have the DSer, my black T-Rex plugin on here as well. My SI bass guitar for my MIDI. So all the MIDI is on here as well. So I'm gonna scroll down so you can see the MIDI. And here is my MIDI, I'm gonna shrink this in. So here's the MIDI for the bass, and that'll work perfectly fine. Any kind of cuts or anything I put on here will be in here as well. So all of my fades are on here as well. Any kind of edits I did to the waveforms are in here, as you can see. So I just adjusted the volume for these. You can see them in here now. I think that's really cool. So I'm just gonna play it really quickly so you can hear it. All right, so as you hear, it's a little lower because none of my mastering stuff is on there like I had inside of Cakewalk. So let's close this out. And if you want to actually save this file as a Reaper file, you can just go to your save project and it'll pull up and you can just save it as a Reaper file and do any kind of uh, the settings that you would usually do for your Reaper saves. All right, but I'm not gonna save it. Uh, I'm gonna actually close this one out and open up a new one, close project. No, I don't want to save it. And let's open up that other cakewalk file. And this one has uh, no chain on it, so you'll be able to see all the mastering effects I put on there. So I'm going to drag it in here. And it's telling me that there's one conversion. That, like I said, I probably had a uh, compressor on one of the tracks. And this is another error that popped up. Uh, project load warning is telling me that one of the VSTs that are in my master chain is not going to show up. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to hit OK. And now, as you see, I have all of my uh, effects on my master that I had on the other one. And I'm just going to play it so you can hear it. I hope this lasts forever. I Yes, and basically that is how you actually add a CWP file inside a Reaper 
with this plugin. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them below in the comment section. Make sure you definitely like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. And if you want to learn about making a trap beat inside a Reaper, I got you covered. Just check out this video right here. And it'll let you know how to actually get that done. Till the next time, people. Peace.